It's Randy with My Gold Panning. I'm here today to show you how the Fine Gold Recovery Bowl works. It's a very simple design, not much to it. You got one control valve for your water, water flushes in the bowl, the correct funnel shape in the middle allows you to separate your fine gold from other materials very, very easily. I've used it a lot, it's been very successful, and I'm here to show you today and share with you how this bowl works. Number one thing, the bowl has to be level. Now it is level, you can spot that by the water level inside the bowl itself. It's the easiest method to use it by. The level allows all the materials to feed in cleanly into the center of the bowl and drain out and separate. In any case, I'm going to turn the water on. This is the garden hose method. The other method uses a recirculating pump, and I'll show you where to get the pump for free too. In any case, let me turn the garden hose on and I'll show how this works. First thing you do is slow the water level down. Okay, you should pre-wet your materials first. If you don't pre-wet your concentrates first, what will happen is they'll float on the surface of the water. The correct place to add black sand and fine gold material is right in this area here. That's the best place. You can use a spoon if you want or just slowly lower this into the water flow itself. If it's dry, you have to pre-wet it first. So go ahead and add it in, a bit at a time. After you've added in, now we increase our water flow. You'll learn how to adjust the water flow quite quickly, just simply by doing it. Here's an example of getting rid of some of the lighter materials first. They're going into the center of the bucket. You don't lose any material using this method. Anything that drops in the center of the bucket, you can certainly put through another time, and I've done that many times, where I'm separating different grades of gold. The fine stuff goes in there, your heavier gold stays behind, you can go the throttle fully. Your materials are still caught in the bucket, no problem at all. So again, if you look at the fine sand, it's being swept in the center of the bucket. The key to make this whole work is when you put the material in the bowl itself, uh, give it the time for the water to circulate, leave it fully exposed and it will carry that lighter material in for you. As you can see, all the way around now. Because this is level, it's slowly drawing all this lighter material in. Again, you can grade to different levels. By increasing the water flow, we're going to wash even the fine gold in the center of the bucket, but we can put it through a second time, not a problem at all. So I'm going to increase the flow a little bit. You can certainly see a lot more scouring action as it's carrying the lighting material into the bowl itself. Right of the black lip, you can certainly see a lot of material going in. Now this will carry some of the black sand in for sure, which is the whole point. But if you're trying to recover a fine, fine gold, like flower gold, this slow the flow down, it slow down the rate of drop. You can see a line of black sand as it's being carried around into the center of the bucket. It just depends how fast you have the water flow set to what materials are being carried out. And you'll also notice right around the rim on the inside here, that's where the heaviest materials are going to accumulate, right around the inside of that rim. If you're adding more materials into your bowl, slow the water flow down and add them in while the flow is slow. Again, adding in this section over here. And then as you're able, as you're ready, go ahead and increase the flow. A little at a time. And you see the obvious lighter sand being carried now in the center of the bucket. The water is pulling evenly across. And eventually what you'll see here is if it turns completely black as it leaves the black sand behind, behind but catches your sand and sweeps it into the bucket. Now as I mentioned, this works for the recirculating pump as well. So what I'm going to do is shut off the garden hose and turn on the pump and show you how it works that way. Okay, I'm going to plug in our pump right now. It's a recirculating pump. Again, you control the water flow with the valve, it's the same idea. You reuse the water, which is fine, and you control the flow quite easily. Let's open up that valve a little bit.
what we're watching for when we turn on the water flow is first of all for these lighted materials to start being carried up and over. That's exactly what we're looking for. And then as you increase the water flow, you watch for the finest black sand being carried up and over the rim. That's exactly the way to develop. Turn it on and regulate the water flow so you can separate your materials. We're using quite a quiet pump. I'll show you where to get these pumps for free. They're not hard to come by. They're quite easy actually. If you find too much of your black sand being carried over the edge, just slow it down a bit. But I recommend doing this in two or three stages. Go for your heaviest light gold first, then go for your fine gold afterwards. You just take the material at the bottom of the bucket, which is right here, and put it through again. It's really easy. Again, you can see the line of black sand being carried up and over. You have a transitional edge, which allows you to get really, really fine separation of materials. This is a really good example of what I'm talking about. If you get little pebbles in there, you can see them running around the bottom. They're not an issue at all. If you get too many, it could be. You can see the black sand kind of cut midstream is being carried up and over the rim. As you increase the water flow, that'll be swept over the top. It just depends how fast you want to increase the water. So I want to add more material now, so I'm going to slow the pump down, get the water flow down, and add just a little bit more in. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I've cleaned off the funnel section. So you can see that uh, these fine materials will be carried over the edge as we increase the water flow. It's pretty much completely clean right now. So I'm going to increase the water flow, show you how this works. Gradual is the key for the water flow for your separation. Do it in two or three stages though. First thing you notice with your water flow being adjusted is you've now got the heavy sand being carried over the rim. This is already refined materials. In other words, it's already been panned down to a certain amount. It's a really good example of what I'm talking about. You can see the physical line of the heaviness of sand being carried over in a line. The other thing you see happening in the bottom of the bowl here is in the kind of the shadowed area over here, you get kind of a wheels of a spoke effect taking place. It's kind of simulating a stream. You can see the like a sandbar forming in there and it's constantly pulling with the lighter materials which is shown right here. This is actually light black sand. Over here is actual sand itself. You get a very clear separation of materials that's going up and over the rim. So this is eventually going to turn completely black, which is in the process of doing right now. As we increase our flow of water, it, it'll slowly start pulling the black sand up and over. <clears throat> if you have pebbles like this, which are caught up in the flow, just remove them. There's a pebble right there. Oh, there it goes. It's being swept around the bowl. You want to pull those out. One or two won't really make a big difference, but they won't be uh, cleaned out of your material, that's all. So this is getting quite black right now. That's clear to the black sand. And you can continually see the scouring action is constantly pulling the materials over the rim. It's a really good example how well it separates. I didn't create this way of separation. I refined it, I cost reduced it, and made it work. Uh, whoever was the original creator of this idea of separation was, I, in my regards, a genius. I just expanded on our idea by cost reducing the item. I'm selling plans for this, uh, they're $4.97. I'm also selling kits to make this up, it's very inexpensive. You can make your own, uh, you can run it with a garden hose, <clears throat> you can run it with a pump. As I said, the pumps are pretty much free once I tell you where to get them and I'll be glad to do that with the plans. So you, here you can see the blackness is almost completely black now, there's a tiny little bit of sand left in there. And it, left to run like this, you'll see only the lightest black sand being carried up and over. That's all there is to fine gold recoverable. Adjust your water flow, add your materials in wet, the rest is history. I hope you enjoyed it. Please visit mygoldpanning.com and I'll see you soon.